Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today we're gonna go for a little flight in FS2. Uh, so the Aerofly FS2 flight simulator is one that's been on my radar for a while, and I have yet to check it out, but I've heard pretty good things about it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick flight around San Francisco and see what FS2 has to offer. All right, so we're in game, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get everything set up here. So looks like, uh, you know, your standard flight simulator stuff. You've got your uh, tutorial here. You've got your aircraft selection location uh, conditions. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Now, uh, the game features quite a few aircraft that you can choose from. So, you know, you can go from gliders to actual passenger jets. Uh, standard, you know, civilian aircraft, all the way over to um, some of the uh, military planes, some like F-18s, things like that. You can also customize the plane. So, ooh, NASA, right on. Um, Swiss Air Force, Marines, all right. Um, on certain ones, so we can change our color here. So that's pretty cool, kind of make it a little bit to our liking. So let's go ahead and fly the Lear here. Um, and see what that has to offer. Now, location-wise, uh, you've actually got quite a few airports in the southwest United States here. You can see all of those kind of dotting up. Uh, it is kind of contained to the southwest United States at the moment. You can see there's really no other airports around the country. Uh, they also have a downloadable pack where you can fly in Switzerland uh, around the Alps, so I'm sure that is just absolutely breathtaking might have to check that one out and they have recently just released uh, a high resolution texture pack for the southwest u.s so apparently that's supposed to give us a little bit better looking experience from the air so all right we're going to go ahead like i said and we're going to take a flight around san francisco here so i'm going to go ahead and choose my airport now once i choose the airport i can't actually choose the runway that i want to start off with so we'll go ahead and start there uh, condition wise, you can set your time, your wind and your clouds. I'm just going to leave all that at default and we're going to go ahead and just jump in and take a flight and see where it takes us. All right, and we're on the tarmac and we are ready for takeoff. So got to say the cockpit in here looks absolutely amazing. I mean, they are really nicely detailed cockpits. Uh, you've got several different views, so we can go to the co-pilot view here and actually see our pilot there. Got a little uh, kinematics on his arms, so that's a pretty sweet effect. We actually go back in the cabin here and uh, take a look at the passenger's perspective outside the plane from various views. Planes look really good. They've got a nice reflectivity to them. So, yeah. All right. But let's go ahead and get in air. So let's go ahead and throttle up here. The sounds are all really spot on. Everything sounds just as you would expect to hear from the inside of the plane. And looks like all of our gauges and meters are working here. So. All right, and we have liftoff. We got planes docked there at the airport, so that's very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and get our gear raised here. There we go. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, short flight over San Francisco. We're going to kind of head to downtown. Uh, maybe fly out to Alcatraz, a little uh, hit the Golden Gate. Kind of see the sights here. Now, I will tell you, the flight feels really good in here. I mean, really good. Um, notice I'm also having to like, you know, trim my flaps and use all the little knobs and things on my X-52, so very cool if you like the simulation type stuff. And yeah, the high-res textures look pretty sweet from the air. Now, one thing I'm noticing though is, is as I get closer to the ground here, everything looks a little flat. 
it's almost like it's just straight up aerial photographs like you can see the cars on the street here are just like little squares that don't move so I don't know it's one thing I, I played uh, DCS for the first time a couple of days ago and I've got to say I was really blown away with DCS and the fact that it had like moving traffic on the streets and you had like little wisps of smoke coming out of the smokestacks. I mean, just things that make it look like more of a living world that we're flying over. Uh, this, this so far is kind of making me feel like I'm the last man on earth and I stole a plane and I'm just flying it. But I'm not gonna knock it though. The flight does feel pretty good. Gonna come in over downtown here. Also wanna try this at night and see if these cities are all lit up. Another thing that's getting a tad bit annoying is, is the reflections on the insides of the windows here. Now, I, I admittedly, I did not go into the graphics properties and change some things, so maybe that can be taken out. But yeah, I definitely want to get some movement in here. A little note to the devs. I mean, you know, like I said, anything that you can do to make the world feel a little more realistic in VR it just adds to that sense of presence but you know like i said overall the flight feels really good i wonder if i can take a leer under the golden gate here it's not like i'm in a fighter jet let's see oh did it Let's see. Oh no, that's kind of an interesting perspective. You know, you never, you never really in real life. You know, most of us we're not flying the plane; we're sitting in the plane. So that's kind of cool. Definitely, just got a tiny shot of presence there, and just looking out the window feels really good. Okay. So yeah, overall, not hating it. Um, is it mind blowing? Well, yeah, I mean, no, it's not. Uh, but is it good? Yeah, you know, if you if you like the flight simulator stuff, I'm sure that this has enough meat to keep you interested. Um, so far, like I said, my only beef with it is is that I'm really wanting the world to not look as flat. So, all right, let's go ahead and circle back here and find an airport we can land on. And throttle down just a little bit. where I took off from yeah there we go let's go ahead and make our approach from the bay here all right here we go got it lined up and we are gonna try to land this bird
Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, we have a touchdown. Come on, slow down. Slow down, baby. Slow down. My God, I think I did it. There we go as we come to a stop here. So yeah, you know, like I said, Aerofly FS2 yeah, is not like completely mind blowing, but if you are a flight simulator guy, you know, I, I'm going to recommend it. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. I mean, you know, a couple of little annoyances like the flat textures and, you know, the sometimes the reflectivity got a little much on the windshield here, but Overall, it, it is a good experience. I mean, it feels like you're flying a plane. So if that's what you're after, you know, it might be the flight simulator for you. But for me tonight, that is going to do it. We're back on the ground. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.